What's up YouTube? It's me Gio from Robinhood Investing with Gio. In this video, I'm going to tell you why I'm super bullish on the IPO for Robinhood in 2021. I'm going to let you know that even though it's been a pretty rough year for Robinhood, while well, I'm still going all in. All right, stay tuned everyone. I'll see you soon. Just a quick reminder guys, if you enjoy content that doesn't drag on for 20 minutes and never gets to the point, content that's not being locked behind a paywall, or someone that's not pushing Weeble on you, consider subscribing. All right, now let's get into this video. Trading app Robinhood suffered a second outage yesterday. That app was down throughout Monday, leaving users unable to take advantage of the largest ever point gain in the Dow and was fully operational by noon yesterday as stocks fell after the Fed's surprise rate cut. Millennial uh, investors who favor the online uh, trading system Robinhood got a very bad surprise yesterday. The platform didn't work at all. Uh, on the best day for the Dow in more than a decade. The glitcher, though, was that users overstated the amount of money that they had in their accounts to borrow and uh, were able to sort of cheat the system here. So it's discovered on Reddit. You can think of this similar to a sort of video game hack where users were helping each other out and uh, outlining a step-by-step -step process so other people could repeat this. They were calling it, like you said, infinite leverage or the infinite money cheat code. One trader was claiming on Reddit that he took a $1 million position with only $4,000 worth of deposits. First, regulators say Robinhood didn't tell customers the whole story when it came to free trading. From 2015 through 2018, the SEC says Robinhood put misleading statements and had omissions on its website when describing its revenue model, namely payment for order flow or getting paid to send trades to high frequency firms. Second, failing to get customers the best price on those trades. According to the SEC, Robinhood trades were executed at prices far inferior to other brokers. That's despite Robinhood saying its execution quality matched or beat its competitors. The SEC says in total that cost customers about $34 million. Shut up! Okay, okay, I can see why some people might be a little bit upset with Robinhood. I get it. I totally get it. But for me, I'm a loyal person. Robinhood was the first app I ever used that offered free trading, and I'm not planning on leaving anytime soon. Anyone that's not aware, prior to Robinhood, you actually had to pay money to do trades in the stock market. You had to pay anywhere between five to ten dollars to trade, and you also needed a minimum of five hundred dollars to open an account. The co-founders of Robinhood had experience building these systems and saw the extraneous cost as little more than gatekeeping younger and poor people out of investing. We are not setting any amount minimums, which we think unlocks a market of investors who couldn't do this before, said Bod at CNBC launch. We see Robinhood as unlocking the micro-investor market. Robinhood were the pioneers of free trades, and now every brokerage knows that if they want to stay competitive, they have to offer free trades as well. Robinhood is a company that has completely changed the stock market forever. Initially starting off with only 500,000 customers in the year 2014, in the year 2020, that number has ballooned up to 13 million active users on the Robinhood trading app. Despite all the negative press, I remain very bullish on Robinhood. I'm looking forward to the IPO in the first quarter of 2021, and I plan to definitely invest in this company when it becomes public. But yeah, guys, I think I see a lot of room to run for Robinhood and its growth and its user base. I could see a lot of big things in 2021 for Robinhood, and I will definitely be investing in the IPO. But what do you guys think? Are you guys staying away from Robinhood? Or are you going to be investing in Robinhood in 2021? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like the video, consider subscribing. Thanks again. My name is Gio, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.